Being called a Super Bowl month for amateur astronomers. It all starts tonight with a super moon. Our Sharon Chin on the KPIX5 rooftop is going to show us the first of three celestial treats this month, huh, Sharon? Alan Juliet, check it out. It looks like a postcard. We start the year with the biggest, brightest view of the moon that we will see all year, this super moon. And this is actually one of the best times of the evening to catch it. It looks similar to this moon from last month. The New Year's moon is only 221,000 miles away. Bing Kwok, Assistant Planetarium Director at the Cal Academy of Sciences. This is the closest full moon of the year, which is about 30,000 miles closer than it is when it's at its farthest point. NASA says the so-called supermoon can appear as much as 14 percent bigger and 30 percent brighter than when a full moon is farthest from the Earth. It's kind of like comparing the, the size of a dime and a nickel. If you miss it, there's another supermoon on January 31st. Because it's the second full moon in a month, it's called a blue moon that occurs once every two to three years. Even more unusual, the way the lunar cycle and our calendar line up this year creates a rare scenario. Two double full moon months in January and in March, and no full moon in February. So it's, it's really interesting what's happening. Astronomers say we get a February with no full moon only a handful of times a century. The last time was 1999. Not only that, the supermoon is part of a double celestial feature on January 31st. The full moon happening that night is going to pass through Earth's shadow and that's going to cause a total eclipse of the moon, which will be seen from San Francisco. Optimal viewing at 4 or 5 in the morning, if it's clear. So keep your eye on the skies this month. I've never seen the moon that close before. I, I, I really like space and stuff. I am excited to see that. That sounds really interesting. Tonight's supermoon is also called a wolf moon. The term comes from Native Americans who gave names to the full moons of each month. Alan and Juliet, I would simply call it breathtaking. Absolutely. Looking forward to that. Thanks, Sharon.